Hi, and welcome to another product demonstration from TIS. Today we're going to be looking at our TIS 1040, which is our lamp tester and control gear tester. So as you can see, uh, there's three buttons on the front, um, one being the test button, one being the torch button, and we've got the continuity plate there as well. So, if we wanted to test a fuse, all we do is put our thumb on the silver plate and put our finger on the other edge of the fuse. And what we do, touch the probe onto the end of the fuse, and that will actually tell us we've got continuity, and that's just using me as a circuit to tell me that that fuse is good. When it comes to a tube, um, we've got an 8 watt tube here, but it actually will test an 8 foot, 6 foot, 5 foot tube, doesn't matter what size the tube is. So there's two tests that we need to do. First of all, we put a thumb onto the top, we're still on the silver plate on the tester, and we put the probe on the other end of the pin, and that actually tells me the ignition on that side is good. We repeat the test, so again, finger on the pin of there, still on the silver plate, and put the probe on the pin, and again that tells me that the, uh, the ignition in that lamp is good. The next one with the test button, we need to make sure that there's actually gas in the tester, and as you can see, that tube lights up, and that tube is a good tube. The test is complete. When it comes to LED, um, there's no continuity test, so all we need to do is put the thumb on the test button, and this will work with most LEDs, and as we can see there, that LED lamp is good. Also, some of the newer uh, LEDs, so like the halogen replacements, Again, no continuity test with the test button. And again, we've got a, a good LED tungsten halogen lamp there as well. It takes a nine volt battery and comes in its own padded case. And it comes with a safety cap on the top there. Um, and that's our TIS 1040 lamp tester and control gear tester. Thanks for watching.